overnight high speed chase in Cobb County. Fox News Kim Leffler joins us live from that scene with more on what you've learned so far, Kim. Well, this is how that chase ended. Police say a fleeing driver crashed into the Abington Green sign here, went airborne and landed into the trees. I spoke to a neighbor who captured the entire pursuit on his home security camera. We went outside and it was just like a, an orchestra of chaos. It was just a bunch of cars and everything. <laughs> It was around 12.15 Monday morning when Paul Clark heard sirens on Frey Road right behind his home. We heard a loud bang like a crash and we went outside to see what was going on and we couldn't see anything. I went to my camera to see what was going on. There was 12 or 13 cop cars in tandem came by, came rushing through and then two ambulances and then the fire trucks. In Clark's video, you can see a car zoom by and then several police vehicles follow. Cobb County police say it started when an officer saw a BMW traveling fast on Ernest Barrett. At Parkway. When an officer tried to pull the car over, the driver took off. Police say the driver lost control near the intersection of Frey Road and Abington Walk, going airborne and crashing into the trees. The car went so far into the woods, police had to bring in a special high powered piece of equipment to get it out. That's kind of a situation where you want to know if everyone's okay, but you want to stay in your house because you don't know what's happening. Police say the driver died on scene. A passenger was taken to the hospital. Well, Monday morning's crash was unusual. Clark says the intersection near their home can be busy at all hours. It's really loud and it can be intrusive at times. There's just a lot of cars going through at, at, at all hours. So it really wasn't anything that I was very surprised by. Cobb County Police say the crash is still under investigation. They're asking anyone with any additional information to give them a call. Live this afternoon in Cobb County, Kim Luffler, Fox 5 News. Kim, thanks so much.